Uh... Okay. Who the hell just dropped those guys off here? That was weird. I don't have time for you, small stubby. Whoa! Hey, they're high level. That's not normal. That shield, that wasn't normal. Are all the machines going aggressive because Eve is angry right now? Damn, they're all coming for me because Eve knows I'm the one who killed Adam. Oh, there's only more! And they're spewing out the really... Like the worst kind of bullets too. Everyone's all angry and oh gosh. See, that was new. Alright. Whoa! Look at the map. That's scary. Do we want to check out some Mintel? <laughs> Very good timing here. Small sphere. Yup. Rampaging small- Ooh! Whoa! I thought its face looked a little weird. Oh. A machine life form that has become violent after injection by Eve will attempt to attack androids as if they were prey. The armor plating on its head has been removed, revealing teeth like metal pipes that nevertheless have no functionality as a mouth. It's theorized that either this modification was implemented due to self-optimization or that possibly some alien race created them in likeness to themselves, though neither of these are proven. Factory machines. Spring powered toys. They're purple. Purple with a torch. Yeah, they have some reason for carrying a torch for whatever the hell reason. The weight of its axe gives it overwhelming destructive power. <laughs> this guy should go work at the amusement park. He would fit right in. Really. <laughs> Special unit. Ooh! Adam is dead. Adam also appeared in the copied city. His fascination with humanity led him to create... Led him to create it. Create the copied city in an attempt to imitate them. He then separated himself from the network and put his life on the line against 2B in an attempt to better understand the concepts of life and death. Wait, so if he's connected to the network, does that mean that he can't die? When he eventually gained the knowledge he sought, the price was his own life. Guess who's angry? K-pop boy is angry. With a bigger tattoo now. This guy has a name too. The machine life forms who formed a colony in the abandoned factory worship this particular unit as their founder. He has since ceased to function, which his followers take as proof that he became a god. Multi-legged Goliath-class machine lifeform equipped with two massive blades. By emitting energy from the tips of its legs, it can move about as though gliding across the ground. The unit's sides serve as weapon racks that can launch missiles and other projectiles, while additional plating attached to the legs reinforces its weak armor. When the situation demands it, the unit can purge this plating and transform into a spherical form capable of spin attacks. Amicable machines. Oh, rest in peace. Hasty machine life form that placed speed above all else. He challenged the party to a race, the winner of which would be named the true speedster. Afterward, he finally awakened to a calm within himself as he discovered the ugliness of competing with others. Thus satisfied with his life, he chose to end it on his own terms. What about the referee? He's not here. <laughs> okay, yeah. Not the time for reading, probably. We have a much bigger problem here. Everyone's very angry with me. Thanks, Eve. Whoa! There's all sorts of, like, coloring, like, shiny stuff going on in the distance. Why are their numbers increasing like this? Cause unknown. Try contacting the bunker via laser relay system. Affirmative. They're reproducing faster than rabbits. Oh my god. Yeah, they are really aggressive now. 
Remember in the beginning, when I was fishing, they wouldn't even bother me. Now they're chasing me to... No. Oh! No! Somebody help me! Get out of here, now! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh! Whoa! Are they... eating them? <laughs> what the hell? Hey, and the people in the resistance, they bleed too, huh? Oh my god. So much fighting while Ninas is not here with me. It's not that he's really strong or anything, but at least he's a good bullet sponge. <laughs> Where is that? Why did they... I thought they were attacking just me, but no. Maybe they were just attacking everything not machine now. Holy crap. Oh my god. Devil up, opala. Anemone? 2B! You okay? They came out of nowhere, overran the entire camp. We tried to fight back, but our shots have no effect. Alert. Energy shields detected on multiple enemy fighters. Physical attacks recommended. Got it. You get the other androids out of here. Good luck. Okay. They're... hmm... They're getting really hyper-aggressive all of a sudden. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is because Eve is angry. Whoa! Oh! Oh! No spinning your arms! That's cheating! I can't even attack if you keep spinning your arms like that. What? There's so many of them! Oh my god. What about Pascal's village? Because nobody in that village knows how to fight. God damn, I thought people at the resistance camp knew how to fight too, but I guess they just came too suddenly. Good here for now? To be, you, you saved our lives. What's going on here? I have no idea. They came out of nowhere and just. Huh? That was outside the camp. Can't even catch a break. Whoa! You again? Oh, it's doing something weird. You again? Weird machine is right. Wait, this one is lower level than the last one. The other one was 30. I really don't think I should be touching the water. <laughs> no, not at all. But that's a problem, because that means I can't get close to it. We can try, like, jumping on top of it or something. Okay, what happens if I walk into the water? Okay, not a good idea, got it. Alright, so... I pretty much have to focus on using... Pretty much have to focus on using ranged here then. I mean, I do have some ranged attacks. They're not the best, but... Can I get some blade swipes over? Whoa! Ooh! Without getting myself into the water? Hard. Hmm... Is there a better way for me to do this? God. Like, that's all I can. Whoa! Alert. Local machine life forms are converging on the area. Why? This is never going to end. Hypothesis: The Goliath class enemy screen has summoned the local machine life forms. Proposal: Destroy the Goliath. Yeah, I've been I've been working on that for a while now. Oh no! Shut up! 
Get its vocal cords, holy crap. Okay, I can use close range to attack the things next to me. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, this is really slow if I don't try to get into the water. Can I get a little closer? Yeah, the little strip of land over here. No, stop focusing on the wrong ones. Oh, God. You guys. Oh, my gosh. You need to focus on the one in the middle, not the other crap here. Not that one. That one. Yes, that one. Whoa. All right. Well, it came to me. It's not a problem. That actually makes them easier to kill. Oh! What's it doing? What's it doing? To me! Oh, finally! You okay? Good thing I landed that direct hit. Huh? Uh-oh. You'll die. All of you are going to die. <laughs> oh no, not this again. Oh, what the hell? Whoa, this is like the... The shade. You okay? Woo! I'm fine. Let's take this bastard down. Right. Okay, Nanes, I'll wear the lunar tear in a sec. As soon as we finish this fight, alright? As a celebratory accessory wearing time. Okay? Well, this guy, unlike Adam, he's certainly not disconnecting from the network. In fact, it seems like the opposite is happening here. He's like taking advantage of strength and numbers. Oh, I'm getting the ones over there. They're useless. Can I get inside? Whoa, sh- Okay, that might be a little bit too close. I'm not getting him all that much. Let's heal up a little bit first. Oh, it's too many lasers. Too many lasers. Ah! Look at how much one laser hits. A lot. Oh god. It's just coming loose. Like, what is even... Ooh! Eve isn't talking. Isn't he angry with me? Doesn't he want to, like... Yell at me for killing his brother and whatnot. I don't know. Maybe he's focused on being the, the center of this thing right now. Being part of the network. Come on! Almost there, almost there. The shielding. It's too much shielding. Mm. Bubbles. Nope. Oh. The lasers are scary. The range is really far. Why? Where did Eve go? He wasn't even in that thing. They're still coming. What do we oh. do? There's too many. Tubi, Tubi, can you hear me? Our village is under. 
Pascal! Oh. Come in, Pascal! Shit! She can swear. Oh my god. We're not even done with the resistance camp yet. Now everyone's... Holy crap. We gotta get there ASAP. Okay. Ignore all the, the lackeys. They're not important right now. Nanes? Oh! Does the direct path to the village... Hang on. How do I go to the vill- Oh yeah, around the, the bridge area. Oh! What is even happening here though? Like, Eve is angry and he's just making everyone attack us and that's pretty much all we know. But he himself is not really... I thought he was in the center of that thing, the ball. Oh! But he wasn't when we heard it, when we Damn killed it. the ball. They're here too! Nine S! It seems the machines on the network have gone berserk. They've sealed off the entrance to the village and are trying to hold them off. But with these weapons, there's only so much we can do. Let's take these guys out first. Try my best here. Oh again? Again? Holy God! I can't even see this one. It's flying too much. Does it have a HP bar somewhere? Oh my gosh. This was ridiculous. Should we just ignore it and go? Can we do that? Oh no, they've sealed it off. Alright. It's hard to get. Is this even what I'm trying to get right now? I don't know, because it just seems like it's so difficult to get. Or can we? No, they seal it off, yeah. Come down here. I can't get you if you don't come down. Yes. What is it? You saved us. Oh, thank you so much. What happened here? The machines on the network all went berserk at the same moment. I think the unit presiding over them may have gone mad. It's Eve. It's gotta be. If we destroy this presiding unit, will it stop the rest? Most likely, yes. Pod, I need you to locate Eve's current position. Location has been detected and placed on map. We'll take care of Eve. You just worry about keeping the village safe, okay? Well. Do be careful. <laughs> what? What is this? Looks like he's bombarding the area with forced connections. I think all these transmissions are making the machines go haywire. We have to find Eve and destroy him. On it. Oh lord. Do we have any clue where he might be? Oh, right there maybe? Oh. Alright. Suddenly it feels like we're getting into end game. It seems kind of sudden. Maybe because I was spending too much time doing side missions the whole time. Hmm. Now what? Who's screaming? Ah. And here you are. I know you two feel the same. That this world is utterly meaningless. As far as I'm concerned, my brother was everything. And now, everything must die! Why did you kill my brother? Ooh. Oh my god! I, I, 
you, your brother is the one who wanted to die. Did you talk to him first? Because it wasn't really... It's not like I wanted to kill him. He kind of took my... Took my little kid brother here. And tried to kill him. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Yes! Oh, gotta get him. Whoa! Okay, we're not in like some weird created space now, but he's still like controlling the objects around him and whatnot. You guys are nuts. Lots of power over pretty much everything machine. It's a really far knockback. Whoa! Whoa, how's he up? Oh my god, do I have to get up there? Ah! I gotta lock on him first. Ah! I think I gotta go up. I can't get up there. Ah! Oh gosh. I'll just keep trying to get him with my missiles while I'm slowly figuring out how to get up there again. These things need to float a little bit more down. This one, this one. Jeez! Ow! Come on! Damn, okay, good. Where are you? Alert. Massive energy signature detected. What is it? The energy seems to be coming from a large number of linked machine life forms. No, he's healing! He's absorbing the life force of whatever's left on the network. Wait, but that means if we kill him... Damn it! We'll never get anywhere like this. I'm going to try hacking into Eve and shutting him down. Back me up, 2P! Hurry up! Protecting Unit 9S while he hacks the system. The enemy is connected to a vast network. Analysis. The actions of Unit 9S have an unacceptably low probability of success. Proposal. Unit 2B should abandon Shut Unit 9 If 9S says he can do it, then he will! Oh, I don't have time to think about how cute that was yet! <laughs> if we kill Eve right now, while he's taking up all the machine resources, doesn't that mean if we kill him, then all the machines on the network will die? It might. Is he healing? Is he charging something? Oh, please don't tell me he's like... By the time that circle becomes full again, he's gonna heal again. Oh no. Gotta be careful of my own health too. No, is he gonna heal? He's so close. Enemy unit cut off from network functionality. Oh, that was the hacking! Blindfolds off. Whoa! I gotta heal up first. 
Uh, it's creepy noises. You can do this. He's not really defending himself right now. For whatever reason. Thank God for evading. <laughs> it's all that. It's all what? Sorry. What did you want to say? I'll erase you. I'll erase everything. Well, again, very valid form of emotion. Hate. It's hitting me. Just like how I hated Adam for hurting 9S. War. War never changes. This is how war begins and ends and goes in a cycle. A cyclical cycle, mind you. It's all because of you! I can't even see where he is. My Whoa. Alert. NFCS destroyed. Close range combat no longer operable. Whoa! I can't evade! Kill! 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 Oh, my health bar is not even on the sc What the hell is wrong with my health bar? Is that a bug? I can only use my pod! Oh, 9S is the same way! Okay, we'll, we'll hang in there with a pod. Come on, pod, do something! You all. Is my pod not working either? God damn! Ah! Oh. That's working. The laser is not working though. I just have to keep shooting little missiles like this. I hope my health is doing okay right now because I can't really tell what my health is. FCS destroyed. Ranged combat no longer operable. What? Oh, mom, we can get him. He's not black anymore. Ooh. Finally, it's over. Where is the truth I'm looking for? Nine S. What? <laughs> I really screwed up. I must have been corrupted when Eve detached from the network. No. It's okay. I can always reload my backup data from the bunker. But you'll lose you, the you that exists at this very moment. Guess so. But we can't upload this corrupted data to the bunker. So... 9S. Please, Tubi. I want you to do this. For me.
Holy shit. <gasps> I never got to wear the lunar tear for him. But that one's green. Oh, God damned machines. Is this a message? The data transmissions, they're resonating with each other. data in the machine side of things. Next thing I knew, my sense of self was regenerated over the surrounding network. What? Having multiple selves fused together like this is a pretty valuable experience, so I wanted to record it. But I couldn't access any storage areas yet, so I just multiplexed it over the memories of some nearby enemies so that when I returned to my own body, I... Yes. I'm glad you're okay. Yeah. What is it that separates machines from androids like us? The machines have gained emotions, consciousness. The final screams they summoned on the edge of death. They still echo within me. Flowers for machines. Ending A. Huh. We reached it a little bit faster than I thought we would. Because I thought we had like 50% more side quests left. But maybe that's for the other playthroughs. Yeah. Well, um, that's it for my experience with... <laughs> yeah, I can't even finish this joke, because you know I'm kidding. There's no way I'm stopping here. If I can finish Gestalt up until ending D, you think I'm gonna finish here from Automata? <laughs> yeah, no chance. Don't worry about it. Um, hmm. Well, it was kind of like the ending A of Gestalt too. Like, even by the end of it, we never learned the true meaning of anything. Well, there was always the looming theme of uh, are androids and machines really that different? Are they that different from themselves? Are they that different from each other? Are they that different from humans? And I, I think we've come a little bit closer to that answer here. No, maybe not, because we all seem to have emotions all the same. Everyone has their own machine or android worries and memories on, 
loved ones, children, siblings, friends, and family. So, for all intents and purposes, just like any human would be. But I think there's a few noticeable things that we haven't learned about here yet. Why was something like Adam and Eve born like that? And why were they humanoid? We haven't really learned about the humans on the moon. I still haven't seen a human yet. And the whole war and... And stuff like A2. Saw her once, she never appeared again. And more importantly, there's a very pressing matter that we haven't addressed yet. 2B has still not yet called 9S 9s, so... <laughs> that's gotta happen sometime. Not in ending A, apparently. You know, you know what's really messed up though? The whole time I was like, oh well, you know, I'm gonna wear the lunar tear for 9S when I get to see him again. And it turns out, I didn't. <laughs> when I got to see him again, there just wasn't that time for me to um, do something so frivolous. That's sad. But hopefully that's something we can look forward to in the next playthrough. Which, um... Hmm... Well, in Gestalt, A and B were pretty much repeats of the same events, but with, like, inserted cutscenes, so... I'm expecting something a little similar here. Honestly, though, that was a bit of a drag in Gestalt, so I hope that they found some way to... not make it such a drag in the Automata, because it has been seven years. And, um... Yeah, pretty much we'll just see... we'll just see what happens from then on. I like this ending, though. That moment between 9S and 2B, when she strangled him and she cried. That was good. 2B went from being someone who is really, really stoic to someone who is more comfortable with openly caring about someone else. You know, throughout the course of this whole thing, we heard 9S's opinions on what he thinks about machines being smart and sentient and whatnot, but from 2B, I don't know if we've ever heard her opinion on it. I feel like no, it's always been 9S who was talking about that. But by the end there, seems like maybe... I think she probably thinks of machines as being the same as them. They finally won the war, the war between the androids and the machines, but... In the end, it's not something that she can be too happy about, huh? Because she killed a lot of people. Yeah, so I guess the machine war is ending here, huh? But we don't... We never really got to see what happens to the ones that we know, like Pascal's village and stuff. And um, the ending bit there with 9S being inside a machine body. Feels like that might be alluding to something a little bit more that maybe we'll see later on, but... It's not the first time too. When we were in the religious thing, 9S hacked into a machine body and I don't... Hmm. If your soul can be put into a machine body, then the difference between androids and machines is it not just the shell that you occupy? As far as I can tell, there's really only been like one actual physical difference between machines and androids that's not uh, accounted for by design decisions. Blood. Well, we haven't seen 2B and 9S bleed, but we've seen... You know what, I can't even say that because um, Adam and Eve bleed, but they're machines. They're humanoids though, so I guess what I really meant to say here was that humanoids all seem to bleed, but machines only bleed machine oil. That really is it. Yeah. Doesn't this whole thing seem like it ended a little too quickly though? Because they've been at war for like 5,000 years, but then Adam and Eve being born and then 9S and 2B killing them. That all happened in like the span of what, a week? At most? Like they never got anywhere in those 5,000 years, but then suddenly everything happened in like the span of a week. Weird. One battle ends. Notification from Square Enix. <laughs> okay. So all players, thank you very much for playing Nier Automata. We have a special message for you. This game has several different storylines that change every time you play. You have witnessed the A route, but there are still many story elements and changes to the gameplay systems you have not seen yet. We highly recommend you play through again and witness the full Nier Automata experience. We hope you enjoy the rest of the game. Sincerely, Square NXPR. All right. Voice change options. What? Ooh, that's a little interesting. Hmm. To continue playing with the same save data you use to complete the game, select continue and load that save data. All right. Yeah, we're back on the main screen here. Well, let's end it off for today then, and then when we come back, 
We will see. Ooh, no thumbnail. We will see what's up with Group B. See you soon. <laughs>